Hey everybody, welcome back to The Frugal Filmmaker. You know, if you spend a lot of time talking to a camera in your videos, it's always nice to have a separate monitor so you can kind of see what you're doing while you're looking into the lens. Now some cameras have built-in flip-out screens that you can see from the front, which is really nice. Some cameras don't, like this one. For this purpose, I've actually got an old TV I've got connected to the HDMI output, so I use that, which is really nice in a studio scenario. But if you shoot outside and you still want to see yourself, you're going to need a more portable solution. This involves a small monitor, batteries to power it, or you can use the most frugal solution of all, a mirror. Now you can buy a prefab mirror, which starts at about $20 and goes up from there, but all these mirrors have one requirement, that you have a cold shoe mount on the top of your camera, as that's how these mirrors are mounted. But what if your camera doesn't have that? Again, like my camera. Well, almost all cameras do have a tripod thread on the bottom of the camera, so why don't we mount our vlogging mirror there? You've got your mirror to start off with, and any widescreen shaped mirror will do, because that's what your monitor is shaped like. Um, I, I'm actually using a Sephora compact mirror right here. It's actually got two types of mirrors in it. One of them is a magnification mirror, and one is a normal mirror. Um, I've got a thumb screw nut mounted on the back here with some double stick 3M uh, VHB tape. And if you don't recognize this, this actually comes from one of these. This is a cold shoe mount that you can attach all kinds of things on your cold shoe with this. And I've just taken one of these thumb screw nuts off and attached it here so that I can connect it to this rig. I've described how to do that in a previous video, but uh, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. But this is a free mirror you can actually get at the cosmetics counter. My wife tells me who would go to buy cosmetics, but I, of course, bought a couple of them off eBay for a little over $6. All links in the description. This is a mini ball head. You can get three of these for $10 on eBay. This is a flash bracket. You can get two of these for $14. And this is a neoprene washer, which you can get for about 50 cents at a hardware store. Um, all these, when you break all the prices down, it comes to about $10. Yes, you spend a little more to get all these parts uh, together with other things, but you'll end up using the uh, spare parts later on other stuff, so I, I don't think it's a bad deal at all. The first thing we want to do is put our mini ball head on the back of the flash bracket. And notice I'm going to orient the little adjustment here straight up so we can uh, easily adjust it when things put together. If there's no padding on this section, um, which there is on this section, you can either move the padding over here or you can use a neoprene washer. Um, you save a little money if you move the padding, um, but this does just as well. It only costs 50 cents. So, And then we'll just mount the mirror on the mini ball head. Now you may notice that the thumb screw nut here is off center. Um, and in kind of a strange place because I've had to, had to move it around to make sure that this uh, fit properly. I, for, originally I had it in the middle, but I had to adjust it and move it around to another place on the back of the mirror here. This is the optimum uh, place for it, I found. So now when you go to uh, aim the mirror, you want to set it up. Let's turn the camera on so you, you can actually see the monitor. So you want to set it up approximately and just over the top there. There you go. So now when you look are looking uh, directly into the lens, you can kind of see through your peripheral vision or just by looking up a little bit uh, the reflection of the monitor. To mount this on a tripod, all you're doing is taking your tripod quick release mount right here and you can screw it right into this thumb screw nut that comes with the flash bracket. It's got a thread in there, in there even though it's plastic, so it's not the most durable. And there you go. That's the most basic version of this rig. You can now mount this on your tripod and uh, you should be able to see your monitor. If you want to pimp this out, there's a couple things you can add. Here is a kind of a standard hand grip. It's got a quarter 20 thread on the top here and I've actually got it going into another uh, thumb screw similar to the ones that come with the flash bracket here so it can actually go through the flash bracket and go in uh, to the quick release system right here, which I'll show you. Neoprene washer and the quick release. Now I can easily just pull this camera off my studio mount and put it right into this rig. Then I can just add my tripod plate on the bottom here because it's got a quarter 20 thread on the bottom of this handle. And there you go. This is uh, kind of nice because now you have somewhere to grip this as you're moving it around from. Uh, one tripod to the next if that's your setup. Now you can also hold this and use some kind of traveling vlogging if you're pointing this at yourself. You have a handle now to hold on to it much easier even though it's not really my style. Uh, the handle will set you back about eight bucks and the quick release system is about ten bucks. 
All links can be found in the description. And there you have it. Now you have an easy, cheap way that you can monitor your shot while you're almost looking directly into the lens, and it'll work with any camera that has a monitor on the back and a tripod thread on the bottom. If you found this video useful, you also might want to check out this one, which teaches you all about camera rig parts like the mini ball head, or this one, which shows you how to add a quarter-inch tripod mount to anything. Until next time.